No, I, I mean, I was told to bring a helmet and a suit, so I knew there was something to do with, uh, with cars, but I had no idea it was going to be uh, not even close to this, obviously. <laughs> uh, they're, they're all my favorite. They're all cars that I collect and uh, as small because they're all beautiful. And uh, I don't know if because they're really beautiful or because my, dr my dad drove them and he was very successful with them. But uh, uh, for sure, um, I mean, every opportunity I'll have to be able to driving these cars in the future, I will take it for sure. It's a bit difficult. I mean, I'm sure that uh, this car is 10 times harder to drive, you know. I mean, just imagine the gears uh, up and down every lap, not, not having to do any mistakes. With so much power, obviously, it was a, was a engine with this, uh, with this amount of capacity, with the, the technology they have at the time with the gearbox, you know, any little mistake would be obviously a retirement. Nowadays, I mean, everything is automatic and uh, there's no way for you to do anything wrong, so... It's, it's a completely different, but in respect, it brings a lot more out of the driver in the races, you know. I think I find a little bit more similar to, let's say, my rallycross races where we have to go on the dirt and go sideways and gear up and gear down and know what to do and the clutch and the brake and everything. You know, nowadays in Formula One, is obviously, it's accelerator and brake and up and down, very automatic. So I think it obviously it would extract much more out of the driver those days than in different kind of skills, I would say, than nowadays. Special stories. I mean, my father has said so many different things. I mean, I forgot now. I mean, from the, I know the DM1 days where he was a big fan of, of the, that car, of that those races, you know. Um, I mean, even the stories that he talks about Paul Russia developing this car, going a lot to South Africa, spending weeks and weeks developing from tires to engines to the turbo to everything, you know, I mean, uh, my dad was the first world champion was BMW and I think the only. And so, I mean, he has a lot of good memories. I, I think back in the day, developing these kind of projects was really fun because there was no limitations. So you could really spend as many days as you wanted tri driving and then, you know, him and Paul Rusher would, you know, come up with new solutions or new ideas and they would develop new turbos, new engines. I mean, it, they, it was, you know, there was no limits at the time. So I think for him, it was really, really fun. And I really wish I could live in that era, basically, to be able to, to have that kind of freedom and, and drive. You know, nowadays, everything is so restricted, some number of days and this and that. I mean, even the amount of steps you take on the track sometimes is limited. So it's a, it's a big, big difference compared to the early 80s. The road over here is, is beautiful. It's uh, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of hills. I mean, a lot of nature, animals around, you know. It's really to be driving Formula One cars around uh, roads like this between the mountains and with cows around. It's, it's not every day that you're allowed to do that.